Hello my friends, Boomy here once again with another video for you, my SOTOR brothers and sisters, how's everyone doing today? In a galaxy far, far, far away. If this is your first time on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button for all your SOTOR fun news, gadgets, and updates right here, right now. My friends, we have a lot coming our way in 6.3. That is true, and it's not that far away from the PTS to where we get to play with some of the big quality of life changes that are coming to Star Wars The Old Republic. And one of the big things that's coming our way is the Galactic Seasons. Now, to prelude, prelude this was the login rewards. Now, honestly, I will be one of the first ones to say that I kind of fi still find the login rewards kind of be meh. Eh, I mean, it honestly doesn't get me. It's like, man, I better log in today to get that one thing. It really doesn't. It, it To me, it doesn't do it. But knowing that Galactic Seasons is built off this makes me go like, oh, it makes so much sense why they did this first to test it out and try it out. Yes. And get people used to how this type of mechanic works. Especially if you've never played any other game known to man that has like a season pass or a battle pass type uh, mechanic in it this is a good way to get your feet wet into how the system sort of works now we have what's called galactic seasons coming our way so let's take a look and see what is inside this big thing Welcome to the Galactic Seasons, building upon the login reward system that we launched in game update 6.2. We are now unveiling Galactic Seasons. While the login rewards are an easy method for collecting rewards by simply logging into the game, Galactic Seasons feature new high value rewards based on playing the game. And that's it. You just don't log in. You get reward rewarded for doing certain things. A lot of it has to do with the conquest on it but it is more of a you need to play the game if you want to earn the rewards and continue to progress in the leveling process of this season of the season pass or the galactic season that is going on they continue players will be able to monitor their progress along with re along the reward track including how many galactic season points they've accumulated how many points they need to be the next level when the current season ends and more our tentative timeline is to have each galactic season last for about five months. Now, this is about, this is pretty much about on par with how, um, and actually it's just a little bit longer than how some battle passes like for Apex, for example, uh, work or for Fortnite or for pretty much almost every game imaginable. Heck, uh, nope, sorry, I was thinking Fallout 76, they have a subscriber bonus that goes along with theirs, but you've got uh, like Star Trek Fleet Command's got a freaking battle pass that's going on in it. A lot of games, this is their business model on how they do things, and and you know as long as the rewards are really good, I see value in it. Let's continue. Each season allows players to advance through 100 reward levels, which grant rewards through their progression. To progress, players will receive a set of daily and weekly challenges called priority objectives comprising of existing and or new conquest objectives priority objectives will require the player to complete specific conquest objectives to receive galactic season points priority objectives are indicated by the new conquest icon and are filtered to the top of the conquest objective list players can also earn galactic season points through the login reward system by logging into the game any four days of the week all rewards will require the same amount of galactic season points to progress for example going from reward level one to two takes the same amount of effort as going from reward level 99 to 100 now that's kind of cool because in some battle pass type uh things uh the xp or the points uh, needed to advance towards the new uh level is a little bit more than say level one so i kind of like that so let's take a look a little bit at this is a work in progress window the rewards here are not the actual rewards but this is just giving us kind of an idea of what it's going to look like now this does have the free to play um option on it so if you do not subscribe you do get the free to play um, part of it but if you do subscribe as they will say later on in this uh, blog post, you'll get both the free-to-play prayer um, rewards and also the subscriber bonus rewards as well. And that is the same thing as any battle pass I've ever purchased. You have different tiers of the battle pass. You have, like, say, the, the, the bronze tier, and you get the certain rewards that come with that. 
But then you're like, well, no, I want the gold tier. So you get everything in the bronze and silver tier and also the gold tier as well. It's just extra bonuses for you guys to shell out some extra cash. That's pretty much what it is. Let's be honest with us. However, I'm not hating on it because I totally understand the system. And that's really up to you whether or not you want to do it or not. But hey, even if you're just free to play, you still get rewards as well. Players may progress through two reward tracks, as I was saying. Uh, one which is free and available for all players, regardless of the subscription status, and a bonus reward track for subscribers. So long as they maintain their subscription status, subscribers will be able to earn the rewards from both reward tracks as they progress through the galactic season. While free-to-play and preferred accounts will initially only have access to the free reward track, if they subscribe, however, they will unlock all subscriber rewards they're eligible for. For example, if a free-to-play account subscribes after reaching reward level 50 in Galactic Seasons, they can immediately get all subscriber rewards from the levels 1 through 50. Conversely, if the player unsubscribes at reward level 90 and proceeds to reach reward level 10, 100, they would need to resubscribe to re receive the subscriber reward track rewards for level 91 through 100. I mean, that totally makes sense. That, that does make sense. As long as you're a subscriber, you get all the goodies. But at the moment you unsubscribe, you become a free-to-play player, you become a preferred player, you only get that track. Unless you want to get all the other goodies, then you need to subscribe once again. So that part, I totally get. He says, in addition to the bonus rewards, subscribers also earn bonus galactic season points, allowing, allowing them excuse me, to progress at a slightly faster rate than free-to-play or preferred accounts. Now that we've described how the system works, let's take a, some time to look at the rewards players can earn from the Galactic Season. The Stranger from Kabindi. So this guy, you know, you all remember this guy, right? From Star Wars The New Hope. Duh. Yeah, I just thought that was a mask. Apparently it's not. I was really mistaken, and now I'm horrified. As mentioned above, Galactic Seasons can be broken down into two reward tracks, one which is free to play, duh, available to all players regardless of their substats, and another two subscribers. The following rewards are available for all players regardless of their subscription status. New Kabaz companion character, Altur Zak Adan. Why they can't just name them Bob is far beyond me. Premium Adan comp companion gifts, gifts for, we're just going to call him Bob, which grant a large amount of influence. Seasonal armor set, we haven't really seen that too much, so. Silver Cartel weapon crate, Silver Cartel armor crate, a Silver Cartel mount crate, and the Galactic Season tokens, which are special tokens which can be traded to key. <laughs> Favo, the new Galactic Season vendor lo uh, located on the fleet, and of course, decos and a title, duh, that's going to happen. In addition to those rewards, subscribers will also be eligible for the following rewards available to the subscriber reward track. 2K in Cartel Coins, Prototype Add-on Companion Gifts, Artifact Add-on Companion Gifts, Legendary Companion Gifts for Mr. Adon, Companion Weapon, Armor Set, Customization, and Seasonal Armor Set, a variant of the base set from the free preferred reward track, but with more attachments. Seasonal Weapons, one of each weapon type will be available, weapons which can be dual-wielded, grant two copies, and a seasonal mount, both creature and vehicle. Now, these are for subscribers, just to remember. And, of course, the tokens as well, to which you can turn on to buy some goodies, as in decorations, and you get a title. Now, here's one of the, here's two of the mounts you get to see, and here's your little weapon. Looks like it's got a suppressor right there. That's fun and dandy. Um, Got to make sure that's legal in whatever planetoid system you're in. Uh, the Stranger from Kumbindi. While there are a lot of cool rewards available for players, let's take a quick look at the new Kabaz companion. We're just calling him Bob. All players will be able to unlock Bob as a full-time companion character, but subscribers will end the season with a more unique version of him. Bob at rank 50 influence. Subscribers will have the opportunity to walk away from season one with a new fully influenced companion. Okay, okay I'm going to have to admit that's actually pretty cool. A high-quality weapon for Bob. Subscribers will have the opportunity to earn a weapon specific to Bob. High-quality armor set for Bob. And a companion customization, well, for Bob. There's that. Let's go more into detail about Bob, the new... I'm not... It's not Bob. This is a different guy. Katha Thavu, uh, the new Galactic Seasons vendor that all players will be able to access. This vendor, vendor will sell various new rewards, previous subscriber rewards, and some limited-time rewards as well. Everything available from the vendor can be purchased with the new Galactic Season tokens earned through the two seasonal reward tracks. The items on this vendor will rotate over time. 
similar to Kyle Zeichen, but on a longer cadence. And hopefully it won't be as broken as Kyle Zeichen was, or Kai Zeichen, sorry, was when he just wouldn't even turn and talk to you because he was just being rude. Man. Uh, let's see, but yeah, longer games, ensuring that players always have something interesting to work towards. When the season officially starts, we will publish an article that will highlight the availability of all rewards. Some items this vendor may have, but not limited to are New Republic and Imperial Fleet apartment strongholds. This, my friend, is something I am definitely looking forward to. Cannot wait to get my beard on those. And apparently you get to see people walking around. Well, kind of. You'll be looking at the VIP lounge on those fleets. Uh, so if anyone actually goes up there, which not many people do nowadays, you might see someone. So wave and say hello. Let's see. Alternate skins for the season mounts. Cacron Dagger Star. HK55's jetpack. I already got that. I think. Do I have that? Yeah, I've got that. Macab Gazebo Decoration, which actually, this this right here, that looks pretty cool. I like it. And the Tauntaun Ram Mini Pent, and of course, more. Similar to our long rewards, they say we want to remain respectful to players' time. So we designed Galactic Seasons with an additional means to progress through without necessarily completing the daily and weekly priority objectives. As the Galactic Season progresses, players will have the ability to skip reward levels using credits in an effort to catch up. Now, I, I've heard some scuttlebutt about this. I've heard some people not too terribly happy about this, talking about, like, this is a play to win. Is it really? It's cosmetics. It's not really. Is it play to win in this mechanical type set? Yeah, I guess, kind of. But you're not, you're, you're, what, you're, you're, it's cosmetics. Is really you're you're getting armor sets, and I don't know all the rewards, so there very could well be. Uh, well, I'm gonna get this type of I don't know, uh, tactical, and it's gonna be totally OP if I have a subscriber and I and I and, and I chase it down and I get it because of the Galactic Seasons. I don't think they're gonna do that. I highly doubt that. But every battle pass, every season pass I've ever been a part of has a mechanic like this for you to catch up, and yes, it's a money grab. It totally is, and a lot of times you can earn that same in-game currency just by doing the season pass and doing that, and if you save it up, well, then, yeah, you can get yourself an extra level for free. All you need to do is spend the time, but it's a thing. I don't I don't think of it as a big deal. Honestly, when it comes down to it, it's between you, your wallet, and Bioware. You make the choice on what you want to do. It's all up to you. Don't let anyone else influence you one way or or the nether, just know it is what it is. It's a mechanic that's been out for a very long time in other games. Welcome to the new business model of the world. This catch-up system is based on an expected average cadence determined by the system, allowing players who fall behind to access this progression method. As such, it will not be immediately available at the start of the season, which is good, but rather appear as the season continues for eligible players. For the duration of the season, each catch-up credit skip will exponentially increase the cost of the next one. For example, if the first credit skip cost is 150k credits, the next one would be 335k, and so on. This is a valuable option for players with credits to spend for either feel who either feel sorry that they are falling behind in their progress or come into a season well underway. And a whole other thing, my friends, it's just a giant credit sink. It is what it is. And they're looking for more ways to do that to improve the economy. But let's not get on our soapbox and how to fix that. Jump ahead with cartel coins. Oh, this is a sticky one. As soon as the cartel season starts, players will be able to jump ahead in their progression by skipping reward levels with cartel coins. I'm not, I'm not sure why people are surprised by this. If you're familiar with battle passes, you should be like, oh, yeah, totally expected to see this. This is a fixed cost per skip, meaning the cost for the player to skip their first reward level is the same cost as them skipping their 10th reward level. This is a valuable option for players who want to gain an edge on the progression or anticipate being away from the game for a few days. Regardless of the method, these level skips can only be done in sequential order. A player at reward level 10 can immediately skip to level 50, but will need to purchase all reward levels in between as well. Reward levels 11 to 49 if you're not following along. 
In conclusion, that's our introduction to the new Galactic Seasons, starting when Game Update 6.3 launches. Players will be able to get hands-on experience of this new feature in an upcoming PTS update, so keep your eyes open for upcoming PTS announcement soon. Similarly to the Ranked PvP website articles, when a new Galactic Season officially starts, we will have a kickoff article highlighting specific reward information and more. So there you have it, my friends. Galactic Seasons, the Battle Pass for Star Wars The Old Republic is coming in 6.3. It is. It's it's just coming. It's what's on its way. We're not going to be able to stop it. And I honestly, for my honest bearded opinion, I don't want to stop it. I think it's something good for the game. I think it's something good for people to chase. And hopefully, as long as they have meaningful rewards, you get a companion. Awesome sauce. You get a new mount. Awesome sauce. But I really hope they have some really meaningful rewards that are worth the time for people to chase, uh, achievements to chase, and all that jazz right there. And I think what the biggest problem we've had with the login reward system is really, as I have personally found, the login rewards that have been offered, honestly, for me personally, in my opinion, have been worthless. They really have. So I'm hoping for Galactic Seasons, um, it will really do well and they will have really good uh rewards for us to chase after i really i really hope they do and i guess we'll find out in the pts now remember in the pts everything is subject to change and if you want there to be changed get on the pts and test things and send information your thoughts in a very civil manner of course to bioware so that things can be fixed and you know just don't do it sit back and watch what happens and then everything goes live then get mad and start complaining about it well you could have gone to pts and been part of the voices that helped change stuff just saying it's a thing and as my friends like i said leave your comments in the comment section below let me know your thoughts on the galactic seasons that are coming pros cons what do you think about it? are you looking forward to it do you hate it let me know your thoughts as always, my friends, make sure you hit that like button. The more likes we get, the more that helps the channel out quite a bit. Make sure to share that these videos and, of course, hit that bell notification button when a new video comes out. It will let you know, hopefully, because sometimes YouTube just doesn't do that. And, of course, my friends, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Become part of the family here at Boomination, Nation, the freak show of YouTube, the black sheep of gaming. And, as always, my friends, we're going to be kind about community. And don't forget to spay and new to your Wookiees. And we'll see you later, my friends. Good day.